amateur do-it-yourself home mechanic probably like a lot of other people I buy some paint products from paint for cars it's inexpensive and they have excellent service and I think the paint is excellent and I've just enjoyed uh, doing projects with their with their product every one of the cans I bought so far has some sort of a guide on it right here that tells you the the mix ratios four to one four to one to one four one and two parts of that excellent the easy guide to follow and that mix guide follows exactly what's on the inside of this mixing cup you can just look right in here and follow that guide and and mix the proper proportions this is what a DuPont thing I got at the auto parts place so if I want uh, a mixture of four to one and say I wanted about 12 ounces of product I would mix the first product that that gets a four it's four parts of that product see so up to the maybe like that number let's see if I wanted about 12 ounces or so I'd pick it up to that number three then I add the one that gets a four to one the, the one the part that's a one I bring it up and fill that tub up to the next number three and then I have about 12 ounces of that properly mixed product and now I've got this uh, urethane enamel automotive finish this is a metallic paint directions for mix on this that guide is nowhere on this container and I've got three separate parts I've got to mix I've got to mix that the paint I've got to mix this reducer and I've got to add this hardener and if I try to pull up their very untechnical tech sheet it gives me the mix ratio it's also on the can eight parts of acrylic enamel one part catalyst two parts of reducer and they give us an example one gallon acrylic enamel add one pint of reducer of reducer acrylic and hardener reduce with one quart of acrylic uh, that's you know important enamel must be catalyzed with acrylic hardener well this is just perfectly unclear absolutely unclear I don't know what the mix ratio is it doesn't appear on this cup anywhere it's not on the side of the can and you know I just I don't need that added level of difficulty I need this to be a simple process that's why I buy my product there up until this instant I've been completely satisfied reduce approximately four parts urethane to one part urethane reducer retarder may be added if for the weather it doesn't say anything about about adding this hardener in there so I'm back to this tech sheet trying to figure out how am I supposed to mix this so I'm gonna go I can convert I guess maybe four part to one part reducer and then half a part of this catalyst you hear they're calling catalyst I guess it's this hardener that's what I'm gonna try it's just that I was relying on a guide like this to to lead me by the hand as an amateur and that's what I that's what I was expecting just another challenge I guess oh and this comes as a kit and this says urethane enamel and this says acrylic urethane hardener and acrylic urethane reducer so I mean is it acrylic enamel urethane urethane what is it and I'm used this uh, black primer right here which is I really like this black primer it's awesome high build 2k primer I mean what is that I can check out some of the cool ingredients here one of them is acrylic resin another one is epoxy resin so for that primer it makes sense this says this is a 2k epoxy hybrid and you can mix it these different ways with these different additives to get a different result I mixed four to one as a high build primer filler I think I probably put it on there too thin even with three coats I probably went too thin with every coat and if I was doing it on a car I guess I could block sand in between each coat and get a perfectly flat smooth finish for my base coat I've looked at probably a dozen different paints when trying to decide what I was going to paint my outdrives with of course I read the, the manufacturers recommendations by their paint but I looked at like this um, easy epoxy I painted whole wooden boats with this stuff before this is great paint it's like painting with a colored polyurethane 
It says on here that it can be used on dry sailed boats or boats that are in the water for less than seven days. So if I had a trailable out drive, I was going to, my boat was going to spend its life on the trailer and only go in the water when I was there, I might consider an excellent product like this. Of course, i got to look over uh, Rust-Oleum. This is excellent paint. I've used it on many things. Uh, I've painted some metal parts that are outside in the weather. They still look like, like I just painted them. Been outside for five years. Out of all the different products, this is the only one that says right on it, not recommended for water immersion. This uh, Rust-Oleum products says on the can, don't put in the water. Rust-Oleum professional enamels and primers are not recommended for water immersion. No, no time limit on how long to leave it in the water, just don't put it in the water. And this is the high performance spray. The spray can lid actually has a list of ingredients on it. Here we see a bunch of volatile organic compounds. What is the stuff though? It looks like it's alkalide resin. Alright, so that's it. That's um, three coats of clear on top of three coats of that Merlot metallic base coat. These are urethane paints. And then we got three coats of the High Build 2K urethane epoxy primer and two coats of that self etching primer with the two part mix with the acid in the plastic bottle. little bits of shrink tube to cover the bolt heads. Gotta love it. Man, that's just kind of a weird color. I like it though. On both units, I had to move this uh, continuity washer from this location, and the hole used to be right there. I flipped them over and put them at this location, and I drilled and tapped a new hole. Which worked out pretty well. The uh, end of the machine screw can come right into that cavity there. I also installed new wear pads. You just slide them in this way until that tab goes in the hole there. 